Welcome to our course, of Autodesk Robot 2016. Level 2. For steel lattice structures, trusses, and foundations for steel structures. Following our series of Robot 2016 for steel structures, we've for you a second course that you'll find quite interesting. Since we cover from the designing of steel lattice structures, to curved elements, such as the ones we can observe in this particular structure. But that's not all. We'll also approach these elements, known as worn, or Pratt trusses. So we might run an analysis of them, under different load cases and combinations. Furthermore, we'll perform a full wind load analysis over this type of structures. And in this regard, we're going to observe several options. Such as the construction, and proper analysis of this hangar which of course, includes the analysis of the corresponding foundations. Since robot, will assist us in the calculation and design of the connections, not only among these set of beams, but also, between such beams and the elements of the foundation. So it might endure against different types of load cases, such as seismic, and wind loads. For instance, here we can observe a first series of analysis for our structure such as those corresponding to the first case of dead load, and a series of load combinations acting upon the structure. Nevertheless, the first exercise we'll observe, is the development of this brat truss, whose first analysis, will help us to clearly understand the way robot work with this type of components. Thus allowing us to analyze not only more elaborate structures, but also, accustomed to some of the program automatic assistants which although valuable, do require of certain knowledge, in order to comprehend all the criteria that needs to be met by the software. Learning for instance which warning messages are crucial, and require the redesign of the structure. And which ones can be simply ignored. For instance, here we find a verification window, which allow us to carefully review each of the components in the structure. Verifying for example the internal forces, stresses, and such. Since remember, in what concerns to the analysis of steel structures, there's two leading subjects. The first, is of course the load bear by each beam. Which actually is relatively easy to determine. And the second, the very important aspect of the connections. In this regard, we'll make a very close and careful analysis, so we can have the certainty that our structure will hold against the different stresses and forces. Whether our components are connected by bolts, or welds, we most find the best possible solution in terms of both safety and economy, allowing not only a safe ratio of tolerance, but also, an economically viable solution. But continuing with what we've previously mentioned, here we find what corresponds to the foundations of our structure. For which we'll verify not only the design of the overall foundation, but also the connections between this, and the columns. And once you've mastered these aspects, we'll move into a more complex structure. Such as the one we can observe here. Being this, one of our main exercises. This particular structure exhibits quite a challenge, since it possesses a series of trusses, 24 meters long. So, we'll not only design this structure, but also subject it to all the corresponding analysis, for both the main components, and connections. Furthermore, will perform a wind analysis over this structure. And that robot will treat as a dynamic analysis, thus obtaining several load cases. Load cases that in conjunction with all of the other loads, will help us determine if both the main components of the structure, and the connections between them, are indeed capable of dealing with all the corresponding stresses, and resultant forces. Nevertheless, remember that these type of beams, aren't exclusive of structures like these but that we also find them in big structures, such as truss bridges and similar. Being this actually the subject of our following course, which focuses in the design and analysis of such structures. These are then the subjects widely cover in this course of Autodesk Robot 2016. Level 2. For steel lattice structures, trusses, and foundations for steel structures. Then like all of our courses, you'll always have available in your computer, Watch as many times as you want, whenever you want, and with the help of our experts, through the support center. A group of professional engineers, always eager to help you with all of your questions, 
learning, and projects. See you soon.